Canned food was invented about 1800. However, it was nearly 50 years before the first dedicated can opener was made. First cans were thick and made of cast iron. They were recommended to be opened with a hammer and chisel. As cans progressed and got thinner, it became possible for a dedicated opening tool to be made. The first dedicated can opener was patented by British inventor Robert Yates in 1855. As canned food became more popular, there came many new patents. I've chosen a couple to try to recreate. The first is by Samuel Hall in 1922. I had to use a mallet to force it through the can. It worked, but it made soup spray everywhere. The second can opener I chose to make was the first dedicated can opener patented by Robert Yates in 1855. I began cutting the shape with the bandsaw out of some scrap steel and filed the edges. I made the handle in two halves with blocks of cherry. I cut out the general shape, then refined it with a file and sandpaper. And then connect it with I then connected it post. with binding posts. After a good sharpening, it's ready to open cans. It was easier to start a cut, but harder to form a circle. In 1870, William Lehman patented the first easy to use can opener.
It had a wheel that rolls and cuts around the rim of the can. This is similar to modern can openers. Cans advanced more and more over the years. Pop tops or pull tabs were invented by Ermel Fraze in 1959. Cans and their openers have come such a long way. So the next time you go to open a can, think about how long it took to be able to do so easily.